Hi, this is Rosemary, and I am going to do a walkthrough for my journal uh, for the Victorian Dreams uh, Junk Journal Swap. So this is my uh, cover of my journal. This girl looks like she's very pensive, dreaming of something. Uh, it has a two-inch spine made from a book cover, and, which I covered with uh, lace and then I painted blue. So here she is. The clasp is elastic with a button cover right there. And uh, I used a Martha Stewart, and this is a dictionary, a vintage dictionary page with a little bit of lace trim. So here we go. Um, this is the inside cover. I think it does look kind of Victorian uh, after a lot of thinking and playing around. This is the paper. There's a pocket right here, a little dedication page, and so it begins. This is a stamp from my gorgeous girl stamps, and I found this and I use it throughout the uh, the journal along with uh, roses. For I'm into pale pink right now, as you can see. So there's stamping. And um, here's the die cuts that I just purchased, and I kind of like that little leaf with a flourish. This is a card. And I downloaded some pictures of some Victorian women. So what I did on this, this is a tuck spot. I cut out the background, and I lined it with a dictionary page. And I, it's a tuck spot right there. And I kind of really like that effect half dictionary, half picture. Plus, I do love her dress, so. And of course, the edges are stamped with Martha Stewart along with the all the edging, all the punches are Martha Stewart's. And so, of course, I, in my philosophy, uh, a journal is to be written on, so I do give a lot of spaces for, uh, decorate, uh, for journaling. Up here is a uh, lace doily with some little pendants, what I started doing was I started lining my doilies with pages from paper because I think sometimes the cardstock is too heavy for pages that are not uh, uh, cardstock. And so here's a little uh, pamphlet book that fits in there. Uh, this is leftovers from one of my Tim Holtz journals. Uh, here's one of those pockets everyone's been trying. Of course, this is my first try. A little bit too big, so it's trimmed right there. I All of these pockets I lined with the lace for the, the idea that um, Victorian style was very embellished. So there's a little bit of lace here. I didn't on here. This is a tuck spot uh, right here. Um, and uh, like I said, this is one of those uh, dictionary pages that I doubled up and then I wanted it to for journaling. And this is again the Martha Stewart punch. Um, so, and this is just uh, the back of a card and a little bit of lace trim. And then I had a bridal printout from Pinterest, another tuck spot. The paper clip is a sign that there's an embellished paper clip. It's a very simple embellished paper clip with a little um, saying here. Uh, this is uh, the end of my, one of my favorite laces I purchased in a bag of stuff from a thrift store. And uh, so this is, I finally finished it again. This is a pocket made from a book page right here. And it has a tuck right behind the rose. It had the roses lot little, uh, is lined with uh, some lace and here is the pocket so there's there's a place to leave a message you can put more there's a doily in, on top of it another tuck spot right here with lace and I had some paper from Prima with a tea set so I used it as tuck spots throughout the book here's just a little rose these are some of the tags I make and I kind of leave them plain on purpose so someone can um, do what they want with them. This is an envelope. This was a stationery set that um, was given to me 
and again also coming to an end. Um, this is also a, a little tuck spot up here with lace and seam binding and uh, a little effort there. That page that I told you about. Um, to really understand Victorian style, I had to look at their printouts and I fell in love with this mirror. The face of one behold who loves thee more than gold. And so I said, oh, once I started understanding their uh, printouts, of that time period, I started to really enjoy this book because I was really just kind of floundering. I found these, uh, of course, the women, and I loved the purple gown. It's just a half page with a little tuck spot right there. And it, here's another printout of the doves, which is a top loading uh, page right there. And I found, I tried to to even out my book so I put top and bottom loading uh, pockets. Uh, this is a tag of one of my favorite stamps. It's there as a tuck spot and it also has a journaling uh, place here. Again, leftover scrapbook paper, uh, bias tape that I found in a bag of uh, at a thrift store. So my junk journaling. I like to stamp and I can like to punch as you, you will see throughout this journal. Uh, this is a fan and I lined the fan uh, again with a dictionary page, a book page. You know how some of the book pages have a little bit, um, a little thicker support and then I lined it with a little bit of lace there be, just to add a little bit of texture to that. Here is a um, pocket and on this side, the birdcage is also a pocket lined with some lace. I did some stenciling with my doilies. This, um, I always am working with embellishing. And um, so that, that was this. This is the second of the Gorgeous Girl stamps. And I like it. You can journal inside of it, uh, put a picture there. There's space here at the bottom. It was done on, left that way on purpose. This is just beautiful paper. I love roses, and uh, there are roses throughout this, and uh, again, plenty of journaling space. Another one of the fashion plates. I liked it because it was such a maroon color, and it's a tuck spot. There you see the stamp. There's the fan once again. And uh, this is that stamp, and just on paper. So even though these pages are plain, I do like them because they have, there's a seam binding. You can see on the back here, the lace I added. Oops, you can't really see it. Let me move my um, book a little bit. Here's some lace. Um, even though they're plain, I think there is a lot of texture to this journal. Here's a card, a little Cupid. This uh, is an embellished paper clip. Here are my die cuts that I, flourishing die cut, uh, cuts down there that I just, I really like uh, very much. And here's one of the printouts. This is another card that just kind of seems Victorian to me. And you can see the stamping. It just kind of edges it with this green. And even though it's a dark color, you can either glue something on or journal on it. So I, I do like that very much. Um, leftover scrapbook paper. Here I finally got that page just right. And with the stamping, I, I do think it does look that vintage um, uh, Victorian look we're looking at for. And up here, Tim Holtz paper. Um, here's an, uh, a moth. I don't think it's a butterfly. It's a tuck spot up here as well as a decoration. Uh, I'm going to move really quick because this is an 86 page journal. Here is a, the teapot. There's a tuck spot right there and there's the pocket, book page pocket, bird cage that I glued to, to make a tuck spot. I love this mannequin and so I just put a very small little uh, booklet there for as a tuck spot. This is a pocket, as you can see there. Again, you can see me repeating the, the stamping. 
One of my favorite printouts was this Victorian lady, and it was, she's only about, only the top half of her, and I think when you put that little um, uh, paper there, and I doily it, she looks so pretty. My favorite envelope, again a little decoration, and I will, I've already talked about them, so we'll move them along. Uh, the doily with a flower, very common. Um, I like this hand with a rose, and it's a tuck spot as you can see, the stamping. This is some stationery I found, and it opens up, and then it folds down, and behind it, it creates a pocket. This is my gentleman's page. The gentleman formed a tuck spot right here. This is a more, um, graphic 45 stamp that I love to use and allows you to write a small message or quote right there. Here's a rose. I just love the rose just like this. So whoever receives this can either um, write and just keep the decoration like this or use a journaling page for additional journaling. This is a frame. I love frames and I thought it looked very pretty like the wallpaper and there's a frame and you can kind of journal on it. Uh, this is a uh, tag I made from napkins that goes, I think, well with the tuck spot right there. Uh, this is another small embellished paper clip by my standards, very small. And again, a little handout there, a little journaling card. Um, this also holds, like I said, I had all these teapots and I thought, oh, you need some. Uh, some teacups and here's a quote about tea the secret to a well uh, balanced life is a cup of tea and a book in that order so there we go stamping here I embellished my frame with a rose that and these are some I guess Victorian style maybe not maybe it's a uh, the er early 1900s, but they were so beautiful I just thought they would fit in. On the back is a pocket with that hand. It's a small pocket and um, I have uh, two tags there. Here's an envelope advertisement. Forms a pocket. And here's another one of my girls that I did the same thing I did before, flower girl. And so she, her pocket there's a small little pocket right there with roses and on this side very limited stamping and some roses. A uh, tuck spot. Here's another one of those pockets and uh, the, you can see it's uh, from a, a page and a doily and then I have this little uh, heart tag. It's a pocket. One of the things you will see is when I decide to do something, I kind of decide, okay, I'm going to make, this is four signatures, make four pockets, and I kind of, that's how I start my designing. Um, I like to put some cards in, because I think they add a lot to a journal. Here's one of my die cuts. And then I love to put uh, punch pages in the center because that is just such great finale the middle for the middle of a signature this is again one of my favorite stamps this vintage girl she's a, uh, she's an altered paper clip and you can see the very simple die cuts and how it adds so much uh, this is actually some stationery that I received and then I was uh, finishing off this ribbon and again, you can kind of just see this layering effect that happens. And, and I do strive to, to create that where you see the texture of this tag with the roses, the rose ribbon, and then the die cut. So I, I work on that, and I like that effect very much. And you can kind of see it as you look through the, the book there. This is a piece from a stationery, uh, from a scrapbook lined with uh, the book pages, another tuck spot. I left, I just did minimal decorations with doilies, the stamping. Another uh, bird print out with a doily underneath it. 
I tried this is a new stamp I just purchased just and uh, I just had like one page there and I kind of I, I like to stamp the pages in brown the tags I like in black very romantic printout right there and this is an envelope this is a stopper right there the stickers that went with this again and I'm gonna say sometimes we make mistakes and this was a mistake but I left it because I think it gives a very vintage, distressed kind of look to a journal. And it adds a little character to it because I think my stamp pad or something dropped. And I think it does, you know, sometimes your mistakes do work for you to add some charm to it. Another tuck spot from page music page and a rose there. You should see this. Last time I had it at the top of the page. Now it's at the bottom of the page. This one I just left really plain. Here, I, I thought this pocket was very plain, so down at the bottom I, of the corner I added some, a flower there. It opens up. As you can see, the lace. I, I hope you can pick up the tiny little lace. And here is a picture. I thought she was so pretty. because, And I included her because of the pink roses. Uh, again, as you're looking through that, this is a kind of almost like a pocket. Whoever receives this, you can put a scene into this um, window and put whatever you want to see there. It also, after you finish putting your scene in, it is a pocket. You can put a tag in there. So uh, I am. I want to. Um, I did that on purpose just to make this a more personal journal for you. Again, sometimes you get these really big designs and you don't know quite what to do with them. They make wonderful dramatic pockets. Um, this, this girl is again so adorable. Look how intensely she's reading. And she is part of the pocket instead of a tuck spot right there. Uh, tuck spot. Here's another one of the ladies. Uh, I found that was a real dramatic way of using these ladies is just to cut them out. I love to fussy cut. And this, I don't know if you can notice, it, it's a fork. And I just thought it added a little bit of whimsy to the book so it's not, don't take it too seriously. And I was, again, I was playing with my, uh, this is a scrap piece of, um, uh, paper left over and I was playing with my punch and I think um, it's a very pretty little tag there. Um, so again uh, some of these you can decide to glue them down once whoever receives this. Uh, this is another one of my favorite ladies. Uh, here's the background and I cut a slit through her where you can put like a tag as you see right there. And she is a tuck spot, and I lined her with a book page also. Another tuck spot with corsets. What Victorian book would be without corsets? Here's another one of these girls. And I, I didn't like how she fit all the way, so I trimmed her down. And there she is, and I think she looks much uh, nicer. See how nice she would just look by herself? Uh, and here is the tag. Um, again, there we go. I have a die cut corset, which I thought, oh, that would look good with the measuring tape. And uh, again, this time my stamp, instead of an embellished paper clip, I used her as a tuck spot. This is a card. And I just had some roses there, and I use them as just a tuck spot. Nothing special, but yet something very little like that looks very impressive. Oops. Um, this is, I know people, uh, when you have your strings, are putting designs on there. And I did, I usually just like the bow, but this time I put a butterfly and a uh, flower there. So that they can add some interest to this page. Oh, one was almost stuck there. Um, again, the, the hand, you can leave it like that, which looks very pretty. 
if you want a more journaling space, you can, um, it, book, it has a tuck spot. Here's a tiny little envelope that I downloaded from Pinterest with a little page there. Again, you can use all your scrap paper. Uh, and there it is. Forms a tuck spot. Looks nice like this. Looks nice with the tag. This is so fun. I love that shoe with that rose. And it has a doily right behind it. And then there's a tuck spot. Uh, there's a, t a sheet there. Left them kind of plain on purpose. Here's an envelope. All those papers, if you don't want them, you can just put them in here and as you need them, you can use them. This is storage. Here's the famous teapot once again. Here's again the effect of layering. There you see the punch. Here's in the is a small page left over. This is what happens when maybe you have a piece of scrap paper left over and it's not as it's not full size, but go ahead, just leave it halfway. It forms interest. And here's the lace. But when you look at it, punch lace. Isn't that a nice effect? Um, here again is the uh, Nope, not, oh, it is a tuck spot also. Uh, on all of these, like I said, there are four of these in this book because there's four signatures. And they're all pockets made from a book page. And then I put a doily, and then I put different printouts. They were, and these are uh, tuck spots. So as you look at them, oh, you can have it like that or like that. So these are just opportunities that I like to play. And so the book comes to an end with another one of these frames. Here, I don't know if you can quite see it, it's a little detailed because to me Victorian is a very ornate style. So this is an envelope. It also forms a pocket. And so this is my walkthrough. I went through really quickly because as you can see there's the lace. It's does not very obtrusive. I, thought about uh, coloring the uh, button, but I kind of just like it like this. Um, whoever receives it, they can put some flowers, leave it like this. It's really up to them. And so this is my Victorian, uh, my interpretation of Victorian dreams. So again, thank you for watching and we'll see you again.